when we pull back the layers of what men and women are going through as adults, most of it goes back to our childhood. The reason why I'm the way I am, the reason why I'm here in front of you now is because of my childhood trauma. I sat back as a young child watching my mom get abused left and right by by dudes. And then shit kicked the dudes out. And next thing you know, three, four days later, I come home from school. The same damn dude is sitting on the couch smiling in my mama's face. And I will pull my mom to the side, you know, when the dude leaves like, yo, mom, he was just beating your ass. Why? Why is he back in the house? I don't understand. And she'll be like, Aaron, it's a long story. Don't worry about it. And then there was a man that liked my mom. The Rainbow Coalition started in my neighborhood in Atlanta. They used to have seminars about the Rainbow Coalition in, in, in somewhere in apartments. And we used to go and it'd be like a little town hall meeting. And the guy that was the head of Rainbow Coalition. He liked my mom. But he was light-skinned and he was short. Little stocky guy. And he really liked my mom. He had this really nice car. He had money. And he was a really nice guy. And he was a leader. Because I looked at him like, wow, he's a leader. And my mom was dealing with all these losers who didn't have jobs, they were alcoholics, they was abusive. And I was like, what about Mr. So-and-so? Because I don't remember his name. Do you know my mom looked me straight in the face and said, he's not my type. You know, I like tall guys. I want y'all to just think about that for a second. Back when I was little, this man was the head of the Rainbow Coalition. He was coming to uh, impoverished neighborhoods like mine, having seminars in order to uplift uh, the community. And he wanted to talk to my mama. And my mama curved this man because he wasn't tall enough. So the same stupid shit that y'all do, the same dumb mindset that y'all have, my mom had when I was little. So I had to deal with tall dude after tall dude Coming to my house, no damn job, alcohol uh, and drug problems, slapping my mom around, and my mom dealt with it simply because these niggas was tall. I want y'all to think about that level of stupidity. But y'all the same goddamn way. Men were like straight losers, alcoholics, no car, nowhere to stay trying to live with me and my mama abusive and she dealt with the shit just because the niggas was tall her words and it was another man that actually wanted to come in and take care of both of us take us out of the hood give us a better life probably show me the ropes and and and, and help me become a, a leader but no, this motherfucker want to keep dealing with alcoholics simply because the niggas was tall. Hit the like button, y'all. So all of our childhoods affected us in some type of way. So when y'all look at all the stuff that I be saying, I see life through your kids' eyes. I see life through your son's and your daughter's eyes. All the stupid shit you keep doing, all the dumbass dudes that you keep dealing with, the loser choosing and the pookie picking that you keep doing, your child is sitting here looking at your ass like, what the hell is wrong with my goddamn mama? Why the hell does she keep doing this stupid ass shit? She gets with this dude, he treats you like crap. Just this dude that looks just like this dude, just with a different name, and he treats you like crap. And then there's another dude that tries to get with her, but she don't get with that dude because he ain't her damn type. See, when we're your sons and your daughters, we hear your phone conversations. 
We we ain't got no choice but to see you walk around the house all day on the phone doing whatever. We at the store with you. We know what type of man be trying to holler at you because we right next to you through the whole time because we your kid your kids. We see the men that try to holler at you. We see your homegirls doing stupid. We see everything. But all y'all want to do is run around like some damn children. And everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. The single mother epidemic has been so normalized where almost every black woman in America is a damn single mother. And it's like this disease has spread to almost every black woman. Because the number one reason why we all are so messed up as people is because the majority of us are raised by some damn women. You ladies, you want to know why so many dumb, inept, loser, broke men? It's because they're being raised by women.